Hello and welcome to this video in which I'm going to tell you how to use Python for network automation. So if you're a network engineer and you've been told to learn Python and you wonder what it's all about and what does it actually do, I'm going to show you a very simple example of how to use Python for network automation and we're going to define a device within a Python script and then run the script and we're going to connect to the Cisco sandbox and I'm going to run a command on the router so you can see it all in operation. So let's get started. I'll make the screen a touch bigger so you can see. And I've literally got an open file here. This is an Ubuntu uh, 2004 machine and I've got Python 3 installed. Okay, I'm just going to uh, tidy this screen up a bit. I'm using VS Code here, if you've not seen this before, and I've got the terminal underneath. If I say which Python. So <clears throat> I'm running Python 3. Okay, so to connect to a router in the Cisco sandbox, um, I'll show you what you would normally do. Um, we would just normally get a uh, secure CRT or putty or something like that, put the credentials in and then connect to the device. But we want to do this for this video and write a Python script to connect in. So we have to define a few things. And the first one is we need to define the uh, device that we're going to connect to. Now, this is a variable here. I'm gonna type in CSR equals and then we need to define a dictionary now a dictionary is a way to put some data some information into your python script and we are using key value pairs so this would be a key and a value so i need to define a couple pieces of information so the first one is device type then this is Cisco iOS. Now what this is preparing for is we're going to use a library called NetMiko uh, to connect to the Cisco device um, and that will handle all the SSH uh, connections for me. But the NetMiko library just needs a bit of information and the information it needs is the IP address, the device type, and then a username and a password. So this is one of the all always on routers that Cisco provide you access to. Now, as of uh, recording, this is uh, August, 2022. Um, this is correct, this will work, um, but Cisco might change the password or change the access credentials on this device. So if this doesn't work, then you just need to go to developer.cisco.com, uh, log into the sandbox, uh, click on the always on devices, and you can then see what you need to change to connect in. I will just show you uh, that. It's quite interesting. So the developer.cisco.com slash site slash sandbox. I'll put a link in the description, but if you've not seen this before, you just need a Cisco account. Um, it's free to get a Cisco account. You can just sign up. Click on started with sandbox. <coughs> and then in here, I would click on networking. And these are reservable sandboxes. And these ones that say always on are accessible publicly from wherever you are in the world so let's say this is the one uh, so this is IS OX, I, iOS XE on CSR so it's saying it's always on and then this tells you the credentials so it's SSHing on port 22 username and password is right there so that's how you get to the router uh, that's the router that we're going to connect to. And the information that I need to complete now is the username. I 
which was developer. And then you always put a comma after each one, but not the last element in here. Let's see. Password is CO1234. So what I've defined here, uh, this is my variable and this is a dictionary. And within this dictionary, I've got a key value pair. So this is the key device type. And the value is Cisco iOS. OK, and then we need to set up the connection to that Cisco router. So as I said before, we're going to use NetMiko. So we have to, one, um, install the NetMiko library. And then two, we have to import uh, the connect handler library from the NetMiko. So at the start of your script, you write from NetMiko import connect handler and show you if you haven't got it already you just need to run pip3 install netmiko this should tell me that the requirement has already been satisfied so i already have a netmiko installed on my machine but if you try and run this script and it doesn't work for you uh, just run that simple command and you'll be able to connect so to set up netmiko we just need to Type net connect. We're going to use connect handler. And we're going to connect to our device CSR. And then we can output equals net connect. And we're going to use the send command module and the command we're going to send is show ip int brief and then we're going to print the output to the screen and then to conclude the script we just need to disconnect just to make sure that connection has been closed once we're finished And that's it. Now the always on sandbox is accessible by anyone in the world. Um, you are allowed to make changes to it, uh, but Cisco do uh, request that once you've made your changes that you do revert those changes. Um, if if you make a change that will lock out your access to the device, you're obviously going to lock out everyone else's access to the device. Um, they do get sort of refreshed if things happen like that. So the, the fair use is to you know run some show commands. If you make some configuration changes, just pull them off before you're done. Uh, but it's a great resource just to try. So this will be my first um, way to use Python for network automation. I'm going to use NetMiko. I've defined my device. I've told the script how to connect to the device and the command I'm going to run on that device is show IP in brief. So if this all works, all I have to do is run that script. So I'm going to type Python 3 and name of the script I've called it was dictionary.py. Okay, so I've got a little error. It says connect handler is not defined. Want from NetMiko import connect. Oh, okay. So I need to make that a capital H. Run the script and bang, there we go. So what that script has done is connected out over the internet to the Cisco sandbox and run the command show IP interface brief and the output has come back and has been printed to the screen. Just to show we can change that command to show clock. Uh, 
and here we go. That is the current clock on that Cisco device. So if you wanted to find out how to use Python for network automation, uh, this short introduction video should give you an insight into the first step to do this. Um, so my name is Roger Perkin. I am CCI 50038. I'm a network automation consultant based in the UK. Um, I've also got a website, which is rogerperkin.co.uk, where I have a variety of courses um, covering Python, Ansible, Git, um, Nornir. So if you're interested in learning more about using Python for network automation, check that out. I am trying to post more videos on here, and this uh, introduction video is forming part of a new course that I'm doing called Python for Network Engineers. So thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.